democracy. Now things are not looking good for the Congress in Karnataka either. Many leaders are now up in arms because the Congress had decided not to give tickets to families, members of senior leaders. But their argument is that this rule has double standards. In fact, senior leader Jafar Sharif says that if enforced in Karnataka, the Congress should enforce similar rules in other parts of India. Jafar Sharif is fuming. His 26-year-old grandson, Rahman Sharif, hasn't got a ticket from Bangalore in the coming assembly polls. Jafar Sharif says Rahman has been denied a ticket because he's a relative. This sudden move against dynastic politics in Karnataka has upset the senior Muslim Congress leader. I may be treated as a bonded labor, not my children need to be a bonded labor. This is, they must try to understand. They must try to understand. If, fine, let them do, do the same thing everywhere, all over the country. There should not be different air sticks. And he is not alone. A lot of senior Congress leaders like Margaret Alva and Karnataka politicians B.K. Hari Prasad to K.H. Munyapa are upset over the new anti-dynasty drive. All of them have been demanding seats for their close relatives in the coming assembly polls. But nobody is yet speaking out openly. It is left to the high command. How can I comment on that? I can comment only in the forum, not outside. It's quite ironic that the Congress party is trying to stop dynastic politics, at least in Karnataka. But as some Karnataka Congress leaders say, they should follow the same yardstick across the country. A task very difficult to implement. In New Delhi, Sunil Prabhu, NDTV.